guys, so I'm here today again with Anna, and this is our second instalment for our little guide to blogging and vlogging series. So a video has gone up on Anna's channel today, I will link to that on her pretty face here. Thanks. And if you missed our first videos from Thursday, I'll link them below with a playlist for all these videos that we're doing as well. So this one is going to be our filming setups and kind of vlogging, editing tips. There is a lot of ground to cover here. There is. So we should get started. <laughs> I'm going to link all of our equipment, everything you mentioned below in the description box. So if it sounds a bit confusing, just check down there for all the details. So the first thing I think which is really important when you are making videos for YouTube is to invest in a good memory card. We both yeah. use these, which are the SanDisk Extreme, and they are HD formatted. So they work really well for HD videos. And we both have the 32 gig. I started with like six, yeah. 16, <laughs> 20. But seriously, these just make life less stressful because you don't have to keep importing the files into your computer and you can just store so much of The these. amount of times I get to the end of a video and it go, card full! So annoying. Very annoying. You can get these from Amazon, they're quite affordable. They're a lot cheaper to buy on Amazon. Definitely. Don't thing. buy them in store. Another thing to grab would be a remote. These are really cheap to pick up, I think like a tenner. We've both got the Canon RC6s I think and they come in so handy because from here we can focus and make sure that our faces are in focus and also you can start and stop filming, they come in so handy because without them there's kind of no real way it's to such do a pain. it yourself unless you've got someone around that can help you, so a very good investment. Also obviously a tripod, we mentioned these in Anna's video, I have a Velbon one, yours is Manfrotto. Any kind of tripod you can get from Amazon will do, just something for your poor little camera to sit on so it doesn't fall <laughs> over. Also my tip for kind of um, framing your videos would be just to try and like spend a little time before you start filming setting it up and thinking about the framing don't kind of cut your head off here think about what's behind you you don't want your dirty washing i mean you might but i don't know <laughs> you should see the amount of things that we're like trying to keep out of shot here you know <laughs> exactly but just, just think about the kind of framing and make sure you're in focus and you like it before you start filming then, I, you know. I always actually like sit in my pajamas before i'm actually properly ready to film and have a quick little I always press record and I go blah 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 and I pretend to yeah. like talk and then I go and watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do that too. Just to make sure I'm happy because there's nothing worse than filming a 10 minute video and then it not coming out how you want it to. For videos it is best to use natural light. So that means in the UK we now currently have about four hours of the day where you can actually film which is just a bit crazy. So if that's a bit of a problem for you then softbox lighting is awesome it's a bit pricey but as you mentioned in my video me and lily bought a set of two lights and actually she took one and i took one which made yeah. the whole thing much more affordable there's all different lighting you can get now you can get ones that just clip on your camera if you haven't got much space for kind of standalone lights yeah. um, but you can also use a lamp or anything you have as well i also think it's quite nice to light from behind you it just adds a bit of warmth to your video so if you have a nice lamp or yeah. twinkle lights or a candle that's why you always see candles in the back of beauty videos so it just <laughs> adds a nice warmth behind um so that's a nice idea a tip that i actually heard is that you should always light videos from like in front of you above and behind I have not got enough space in my flat to kind of keep lights for all of that, but that is the dream. One day! And play around with the settings on your camera as well. I know you like to use daylight, which adds a little bit of warmth. I do. Um, so there's a few kind of ways you can play around like that. When it comes to cutaways, which are usually like the little close-ups that people edit into videos, make sure that they are beneficial for the viewer, because the amount of times that I put in cutaways and then I'm like, you can see, you don't need yeah. to see it closer up. So if it's doing a swatch or a cutaway of you actually um, applying the product, if you're into making beauty videos, then they're quite handy to do. Definitely. With depth of field as well, if you don't know what depth of field is, it's kind of, <laughs> just got myself in a little ditch there because we're going to have to explain what depth of field is. Yeah, what, what's depth of field? Yeah. Really? It's like the space behind. <laughs> I used to film in front of a wall and I found that I wasn't liking my videos as much because it was just a little bit flat. Whereas you see all this nice like blurriness behind us, it's because we kind of have more space. We have a table and a sofa and play around with that, I think that's a nice... And that is also to do with your lens, and we're going to quickly talk about the lens yes. which we both use to film our videos, and the reason that there's good depth of field and we're able to get like a bit of blurriness, I mean, we know really nothing much about cameras, so I'm sure there's a lot more technical information about this than what we're telling you, but yeah. something with a smaller F number creates that look better, and we both use this, and it's the Sigma, I think it's the f1.4. So 30 millimeter f1.4. Yes, yeah, it's so good. It's a little bit heavy, so it's not one to take around with you. No. But 
we both always use this for filming. It's what we're filming on now, it's what on any of my recent videos I filmed with, and yours as well. So yes, but as Anna was saying, if you want to know the techie stuff, there's so many good videos on YouTube. I yeah. always look at reviews before buying techie stuff. A cheaper version of that would be the Canon F 1.8 50mm, which I think is around £80, which is significantly cheaper than the um, Sigma, but we both well, we both used to use these, didn't we? Yeah, videos. you just have to have your camera quite far away from you, but it's really good. So once you've filmed your video, it's time to import it and edit, which is... I actually love that bit, but some people find it the boring bit. I find it the boring. I like editing. So something, that a little tip that you might not know, because I remember when I think it was you or Amelia didn't know about did this. not know this. A lot of Mac computers have slots in the side for you to insert your memory card Genius. straight in. So you don't need to use the cord or anything. So just put it straight in, um, import it into iMovie, create or whatever you're using. We use iMovie. Create a new event. And I like to label everything so I don't lose oh. any files. God, you are just so damn good. <laughs> something that I recently picked up, and this is honestly one of the best things I've ever purchased, is an external hard drive. Yeah. They are so good because video files take up so much space and my old laptop was like churning away with all of these videos on it so these are a really good purchase this is a g drive one terabyte <laughs> one terabyte's huge but i have one as well <laughs> because all our videos that we film i don't want to like lose them so i put them all on here yes so this is kind of has like all of my life on it yeah at the moment but they come in very handy and that way it won't slow your computer down and take up memory on your computer Okay, so a few editing tips. As I said, we both use iMovie, and I think it's quite easy to use. So easy. it's quite user friendly. If I can use it, anyone can use yeah. it. And like we said in our first video, if you are a bit stuck, YouTube it, Google it, the answer will be out there somewhere. You, I have to say, YouTube is incredible for iMovie tutorials. I actually recently got a new, um, what's it called, MacBook Pro? Yeah. And it has this new version of iMovie on it, I think it's called iMovie 10. And I was like, oh <laughs> my god, what is this? It's so confusing and different to the other one. When, like, onto YouTube, and some lovely guy in America had made a whole tutorial of how to use it. That's and so it was good. so handy. So honestly, YouTube tutorials for iMovie are just where it's at. Also, a bit like blogging photos, you'll come up with your own style of video editing naturally. You can put transitions in, which kind of, in between each clip, it makes it go fuzzy and stuff. But my one tip would be to, when you do cut your clips, don't do it too close to the beginning or end of your sentence because you'll find you're cutting yourself off and it's all a bit kind of jumpy. So leave a little bit of space for Honestly, mistakes. this is like Lily's domain. If you, <laughs> I always love in your videos, you're like, so today I'm going to do a November favourites. <laughs> I have no idea how to even do that. <laughs> That's easy. They have like you That's Lily's I know he has like some music to offer as well and some yeah. like writing, but just don't go too over the top. I don't think it needs it. I think if you create good content in your videos, you don't need all the faff. This is true. Quick side note, I actually never used to edit my videos at all on my first ever videos that I uploaded on YouTube were just completely one take things. So if you messed up, you just started again or you just left it If I messed up, I said a really big swear word and started again. And I don't actually know how I did that, but it can be done. You can just do like one take, you don't even have to edit. Yeah, also I think, as you guys will probably know, because you obviously watch YouTube videos, and from my personal opinion, when you're watching a video, I think the first five kind of seconds, ten seconds is really important and people kind of judge a video by that, yeah. they think, am I going to keep watching? So I don't think a long kind of fancy intro is that necessary. I think get straight into it and show people <laughs> what you got. I wonder how long our intro for this video is. No, but I don't mean, I don't mean like an intro intro. I mean like, uh, today is Anna and Lily's vlogging. Oh, yeah, you know, like, yeah. like my maid intros. Oh, we should have For every video. I know, I actually really want one. I take back, take that <laughs> I want to make one. <laughs> so now I'm going to literally get up and show you our filming setup right now. Now we're at Anna's, so it's not always like this, but today this is what it looks like. So I'm going to get my camera out. This is like YouTube Inception right now. Let's do this. Right. I'm getting up. Excuse the tracksuit bottoms. <laughs> yeah, you will both see that we are both wearing tracksuit bottoms. Okay, so... H&M one. <laughs> so we decided to sit on the floor today. We did. This is where we're sitting. Um, with the table behind us and a sofa. And this is how we have our camera set up. So, sorry, it's a bit bright there, but we've got Anna's ring light, and then the camera, just like this. And the Sigma lens is on that, and then we've just been focusing it with our little remote, and then the tripod, and that's it. And we're both just sitting here in our 
tracksuit bottom. But I hope you enjoyed the second instalment. If you want to see Anna's video, which is our blogging equipment, then click on her face yeah. now. And if you want to see the past two videos we did on Thursday, I'll link the playlist below and everything. And then don't forget to check back on Tuesday for our last video, which is like extra organisational blogging and vlogging tips. That is filled with all the miscellaneous stuff. But thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this. Please leave your feedback below and blog links and YouTube links. Because yeah. we need some reading today. We do. We do. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Hi guys, so today I'm here with Anna. Hello. And we are starting an exciting little series that we've got planned for this week. We're going to be uploading videos on...